everyone, welcome back for another ASMR video and today we're gonna discover the most important Aztec deities, the most important 10 gods and goddesses of the Aztec civilization. of 
He was feared for his power over hail, thunder and lightning. He is also associated with caves, springs and mountains, most especially the sacred mountain where he was believed to reside. His followers were one of the oldest and most universal in ancient Mexico. Representation of Tlaloc includes a variety of symbols like jaguars, jaguars, serpents, serpents, and butterflies. The Mexican marigold takes Lucida, known to the Nua as Chempa Social, was another important symbol of the god. Sempa social. Okay, I will write here. Sempa social. Social. Alright, this god, Tralog, was also adopted from the Maya god Chuck. So he is adopted from the Maya god Chuck with double A. Perhaps ultimately derived from an early Olmec precursor. Alright, good. Let's move next. The next god we're gonna talk is Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. Okay. Well, this god, the feather serpent god, was related to wind. Wind. Venus, sun, merchants are crafts. So, wind, Venus, sun, merchants, arts, crafts, knowledge, and learning. Was also the patron god of Aztec priesthood. It was one of the several important gods in Aztec Pantheon, along with the gods Tlaloc, Tzeca, Tilopka, and Huitzilopochtli. Two other gods represented by planet Venus are Tlaloc and around his neck, around his neck, a breastplate, the spirally voluted wind travel, this is the name, the spirally voluted wind travel, this talisman, this talisman was a conch shell cut a cross section and was likely worn as a necklace by religious rulers. Okay, very interesting. So this one is the patron or god for wind, Venus and sun, merchants, arts, learning and knowledge. Good. Let's move next. The next god we're gonna talk, it's that's Catlipok. Alright. God of night and magic. Night and magic. Well, he, this one was a central deity in Aztec religion. He's associated with many different concepts like night sky. For example, night, sky, hurricanes, obsidian, and conflict, conflict. He was considered one of the four sons of 
very interesting and this one it's depicted in white color white color so very interesting effects about this god Let's move next, let's move next, next, next. And this next god is Xolotl, 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 which was the god of lightning and monsters. Well, what an association. He was commonly depicted as a dog-headed, you will see, you may see that as a dog-shaped head. He was also god of a twins monster, misfortunes and sickness. Xolotl is the cunning brother of Quetzalcatl, this one. So, they are very associated. Okay. Good. Hey, Xolotl is the dark personification of Venus, the evening star, and was associated with heavenly fire, the god of lightning and monsters. All right, time to move to the next one. The next god is Sandotl, the god of maize, the god of maize. Well, in the uh, Aztec language, simply means dried maize still on the cope. According to the Florentine Codex, Saint Otel is the son of Earth Goddess. The majority of evidence scattered about his deity suggests that he is usually portrayed as a very young man, very young man with yellow body colorification. Some specialists believe that Saint Otto used to be the maize goddess or Sinke Makotl was considered was one of the most important deities in the Aztec mythology. For example, there often seems to be maize in his headdress. In his headdress. Another striking thread is that the backline passing down his eyebrow through his neck and finishing at the bottom of his jawline, these face markings are similarly used in the late post classic of the foliated Maya maze god, which is another civilization. So, well, it's very interesting how well, the civilization Maya, Inca, and Aztecs have imported imported their deities between them, between those civilizations. So, very interesting, the god of maize in Aztec civilization, Sandotl. Okay, we have two more gods here, and we're gonna talk about Chalchi would liquid. Chalchi would liquid. Chalchi would liquid. The goddess of water and rivers. So, is a she? Is a her? So, it's a feminine god. 
it's a god of water and rivers. Bye-bye.